my studio at Artspace Maynard. I've been here in the studio for about six or seven years. I kind of lose track of time. We moved to Stowe in 2001. Originally had lived here in Maynard. And um, I have an exhibit that's downstairs. It runs through February 25th. It's the entire gallery, 2,200 square feet, which was um, really exciting to be able to work and um, you know, put together a show that could fill a space like that. Um, and I work on paper. Uh, for a number of years, I painted directly on heavy-duty watercolor paper and then had it dry-mounted so that it's um, just floats on the wall. It's somewhat rigid, but the edges can be damaged. Just in the last year, I came up with um, the idea of sandwiching fiberglass screen in between my paper. And now you can you know, toss it across a room. It's perfectly rigid, won't rip, won't tear, and um, it's very exciting for me. It's a big breakthrough. Before I set the show up, this whole studio was filled with um, things from Small Farm, from uh, vines from the woods. The premise of the show is about, um, you know, basically the journey of the journey of life, and I just use the landscape uh, to talk about it. The vines, first of all, I, 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 I love bittersweet vines because they are so, just the way they grow is so crazy, and um, you know, the energy that they've got. But I hate bittersweet vines because they strangle and kill everything. Um, so whenever I'm out walking and I see a lot of bittersweet, it makes me absolutely crazy and I want to, you know, stop the car and chop it down. This piece um, is Barack Obama's Yes We Can speech. And I, I heard the speech, it was in January, I think 2008, 2008 maybe? It was, it was during the primaries. He had just lost in New Hampshire, and um, he gave this speech. Um, as soon as I heard it, I knew that I had to put it into a painting, because at, at that point in time, that's what I was doing. I was painting, uh, putting text into my work, you know, prayers and poems and just things that inspired me. So I started working on that, I think, in February. And I was still working on it, you know, when he won the election. So it took months and months and months. And I painted it and repainted it and repainted it and repainted it. And um, ultimately, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, and someday I hope it's in the White House. Or not in the White House so much as just in his possession. This case is usually used for jewelry and pottery, um, but it seemed a shame to have it be empty. And seeing how I was bringing in things from the woods, I thought, why not fill that up um, so that it's sort of like, you know, you've taken a slice, and here's what you find, just layers of the pine, the oak, the um, the old ferns, the new ferns, the creatures, the nests, and um, it was a lot of fun putting it in. I, it's probably not going to be that much fun taking it out. And um, I also have, or will have at the reception, a stew that's going to be emitting the aroma of the earth because when I, I made this on a Friday night, I came back in on Saturday and opened Giroux's office door 
and was just hit with this very strong aroma of earth and woods. And originally, I had wanted to have some, some um, you know, I wanted to have audio, I wanted to have visual, and I also wanted to have the, uh, I wanted to engage all of the senses for this show. So I'm going to have a crock pot with a little earthy stew going on with a little fan hidden underneath that grate. So during the reception, people will f get that smell, that wonderful smell that you get when you're walking through the woods and it's got the dew and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm.